Bully Ray's in charge of who? Who's charge of who? Of who? Bully, Char Bully Ray ain't in charge of the Beatdown Clan. The Beatdown Clan is in charge of the Beatdown Clan. Let me explain to you. If all of you want to be stupid and believe that Bully Ray isn't here for Bully Ray, then you go right ahead. See, don't forget Bully Ray wanted to take over the whole company not too long ago. So I see, once a snake, always a snake, man. So I, I'm not too worried about Bully Ray because if Bully Ray really wants to tangle with the Beatdown Clan, he knows where to find us. Otherwise, he's just gonna stay out of our way and he's gonna let us do what we do because we can. It's certainly gonna be interesting. I mean, I'm no stranger to Bully in a leadership position over me, having been trained by him in his professional wrestling school. Um, it's certainly gonna bring order and justice and I think uh, we'll avoid a lot of the pitfalls that we've seen before here. I think it'll be fresh and interesting. I think that the change with Bully Ray being in charge of the roster can only be a good thing um, because having somebody who's been in our shoes, who's been in a locker room and has seen it from our side, um, we can talk to somebody who will be able to relate to us better, who can hear us and our ideas won't fall on deaf ears. I think it was needed. I think it helps balance things out. I think. Dixie can look back at her mistakes and she, she's realized you, you can't do that forever. It, it's counterproductive to your company. You know, it's easy to get drunk with power, especially when you're in a position like that. And I think now having Bully Ray there to counter out the champion of EC3 is a win-win for everyone.